Today we're gonna take a look at some new Blender courses from Colosso, which is the sponsor of today's video. These courses are about character modeling in addition to how to achieve 3D cartoon renders. But first, allow me to introduce you to the Colosso platform, which is an online learning platform that offers a selection of some of the best courses available. These courses are taught by experts in their industries, including well-known 3D artists and art directors who work in popular studios. And you can rest assured that what you're getting is the best stuff. We all know that 2D animated movies and series are becoming really popular lately, and they can be as successful as 3D animated movies in the future, which creates an opportunity for 3D artists to get ready for that. We can do that by learning how to create 3D cartoon renders because it is making waves in the video production and game development industry for its appealing looks and bringing 2D illustrations to life. So this will be exactly what you'll be learning in this course, which is an intro to 3D cartoon rendering in Blender. And it teaches you how to achieve 2D looking scenes with 3D modeling. It is an amazing course by Sangwoo Park in Korean, but it has English subtitles. It is a step-by-step -step workflow of the whole process, from the basics of Blender to basic character modeling, tune shading and cartoon rendering. The instructor is a 3D artist who focuses on modeling, texturing and shading in the animation industry. He has experience with a variety of animation techniques, including stop motion, physically based rendering and children's animation. At the moment, he works at Studio Mirror as an asset director for cartoon rendering and stylizing. He has teamed up with them on a lot of well-known and fascinating shows, including Dada, The Witcher, Batman and Superman and many others. This class is divided into 8 sections and spans over 29 hours. You will only be using Blender throughout the whole course, so you will first learn the basics of Blender interface and the basics of modeling tools, also how to look at the character sheet using references. In the second and third sections, you will learn some basics about line art and texturing in addition to basics about cartoon rendering. And you will be doing that by learning how to model a chair and texture it and then how to apply line art to it. After you finish learning the basics, Park will be introducing you to three different types of character creation styles, and they are character figure, game character, and animation character. During section 4, 5, and 6, you will learn how to model the head and hair of these characters and how to texture and shade them. Following that, you will move to understanding the concept sheet and the human body anatomy points. So you'll be learning how to model the full body of the character and then the instructor will show you how to rig a character using AutoRig Pro. After that, you will finish up by learning how to render and composite the final character. In the final section, Park will show you some other techniques and ways for finishing up projects. For example, he will show you some line settings that are used in games and how to connect AutoRig Pro with Mixamo. He will also show you some essential elements for better cartoon rendering and modeling. Generally speaking, classes on this type of topic are really hard to find, and this one is one of the few classes that are actually useful in the field of animation. So if you want to get into the industry, I think that this course can be definitely for you. The second class we are taking a look at today is called Fun 3D Character Modeling Using Blender and Photoshop by Korean professional 3D character artist Ming Jung Shin. Shin is an experienced artist who works on creating stylized 3D characters in a specified form of the human anatomy, and that what sets him apart from the other typical character artists. The focus of this training is primarily on developing and creating basic and simple stylized characters. So it is not about creating a realistic character. That means even those with no prior knowledge of the human anatomy can simply make 3D characters with this basic training. The training is in Korean with English subtitles, and it contains over 49 hours of content divided into 41 videos. The course itself is divided into 9 sections and 3 parts, during which you will learn everything about character design and understanding the overall character creation process. The first thing you are gonna learn is all the basic and essential Blender features that you are going to need. So you will only be introduced to the main core function, such as the interface and the modeling and sculpting tools. Generally speaking, you will be starting off with modeling some basic stuff, such as a bowl and a cup. This is the case in order to get you to recognize all the modeling tools first. You will also learn how to apply some basic materials to the model and how to render the final creation. 
The next thing you are gonna see is how to create a cute character. And that will be done by modeling the face and building the body and then applying some materials to it. After that, you will finish things up by creating various postures and expressions for your character. And after rendering the project, you're gonna learn how to add some details in addition to retouching using Photoshop. Furthermore, you will also learn how to sculpt, which may be difficult for beginners. Therefore, the instructor will demonstrate numerous and simple examples of how to use brushes that are frequently used to make 3D characters to minimize mistakes and enable you to be more efficient. Another thing you'll be learning is how to make hair using just curves, and how to do retopology of the model that you made in addition to understanding texture painting and character rigging. Finally, the class will be concluded by showing some ways to raise the quality of the character and that is done by using some texturing add-ons and also using Photoshop for some post-processing in order to make your character stand out more. So if you are interested in these classes, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.